Hi, my name is Alvin. I'm going to show you how to find the domain of a function. So, we'll first start off with this example. f of x equals to x minus 1 and g of x equaling the square root of 4 minus x. Now we have to find the domain of f of g of x. So what we do is we got to find uh, g of x first. So that's easy. You just plug in square root of 4 minus x. And the domain of g would be x being less than or equal to 4. This is because if you plug in anything more than 4 here, this whole number inside here would be negative, And you can't have a negative under the square root. So that's why you have this here. Now the second part is you got to plug in f of x into g of x and it looks like this square root of 4 minus x and the minus 1 here we got this from starting f of x function now the domain of this would be negative 100 comma 4 and the reason for that is when you set you take this and you set this equal to 0 then you just solve for x I added x to both sides because x was negative and then x would end up equaling positive 4 so <clears throat> this isn't included because it's any number in this range all the way to positive 4 this is included because of this less than or equal to 4 so then you have to include the 4 here inside the domain. So here's your answer. Hope you learned something. Uh, that's how you find the domain of this function. I hope you can apply this to any other function that you need to find the domain for. So thanks for watching.